The only way that Devin Townsend knows is to ride that microphone like a stallion. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the channel. I am your host and high priest of Prestissimo, Ken Levine. I'm a singer and vocal coach here on YouTube. And today we are looking at Devin Townsend Project live at Royal Albert Hall and his song Deadhead. So this is a first listen for me, but I have listened to Devin Townsend before. But before we do that... I would like to remind you all to please remember to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the great stuff that we produce here every week on the channel. So, with that said, now it's time for Deadhead and Mr. Devin Townsend. What a production. I love this opening riff. I like this guitar too. That looks pretty custom. Yeah! Hold the fry up the top. I can just tell from the opening riff I'm going to really dig this song. Uh, it's a very slow tempo for uh, so a typical metal song. It's more like getting into a groove, getting into um, something more cathartic. <laughs> Production. The drummer is wearing earmuffs. Are those like weird in ear things? Okay, just a couple of interesting things off the top. Um, nice, resonant, open-throated vowels off the first phrase. You are... Like, really, really good, solid technique. Very sort of classically centered. And then the second phrase... Uh, what does he do? What does he say there? I can't remember. But he closes off the vowel a bit. You say Oh yeah, it goes straight to his nasal. You save me. Gives it a little bit more bite. I really dig this singer. I've only heard one other song, Kingdom, but he's he just plays with his voice so much and uses all of the expressive colors that he can make by opening and closing vowels and his embouchure. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Vocal fry. Now the rain it comes, the rain it blurs, the gray line, the gray line, the gray line. Yeah! 
fish fork just happened there? He goes from that wonderfully open throated singing to like that vocal fry. And for those of you who don't know, vocal fry is um in, in heavy metal, it's just a fry scream is is just like it's your bread and butter kind of thing. And uh, I I can't really do it very well, but when I see people do it like Devin Townsend, who are just I mean, they're masters at it, it's really quite impressive. So um, from what I understand, you know, vocal fry, you you often will hear, you know, Valley Girls talk like that. And that's like the uh, a low larynx, uh, open throat vocal fry. And then what he's doing is turning that into a fry scream and that you raise your larynx up to the point of your uh, false vocal cords and um, you get this sort of... The sound. I can't do it very. Right. I mean, he's doing pitched vocal fry and it's immaculate. And he's like, he, he looks like he's about, I don't know, 10, 12 inches away from the microphone and you can hear it crystal clear. That is a powerful, powerful instrument he's got. The song's not over, is it? What what did he say? You know, pick a tempo. <laughs> is he making fun of his audience? Or is it <laughs> they're all trying to clap along and I guess they're <laughs> totally have no sense of rhythm in the audience. That's awesome. <laughs> if you feel like at any moment pick a tempo. Oh man. That is balls. <laughs> says whatever's on his mind you know it's it's tough i think you know he was having a good time and, and in the groove and he takes this moment where he just comes out of the world that he's created and you, you'll see this with some artists when they're sort of deeply in, involved they'll, they'll sustain that connection to the lyrics to the song all the way through and this is this is something you know you sort of play with as a performer is do I connect with the audience or do I stay focused in on the song? And sometimes if you're a natural sort of performer, like a, I don't know, I, I think of a sort of like a music theater kind of a personality is sort of driven to engage with the audience. And, and that's what he does beautifully here is he's sort of like, you see him, he's in the emotional moment of the song and then he looks up he's like oh yeah people are here right on thanks for coming to my living room and hey i'm glad you're entertained excellent and you're not clapping in tempo so you know that sucks but oh well we'll keep playing anyway <laughs> uh, i love his sense of humor it, the sense of play is so great now he's getting them to clap in tempo and they have to clap along with the drummer. Or else he will shout at them again. He's gonna shout at them anyway. He's Devin Townsend. Vitality going on. This feels like a moment of redemption. This change in the vibe of the song, you know? Uh, it's going to like a more hopeful tone, you know? A more hopeful vibe. Take 
takes a sip of water. Very responsible singer. Okay, before we go into, I guess we're winding down here. We got another minute left of the song. I just want to say, hey, shout out to the audio engineers in the, whoever might be listening to this. I think this is beautifully mixed. I can hear it wonderfully in my headphones here. Uh, there's an incredible breath to the sound. So I, I, f I feel those, those deep basses, uh, deep bass tones and the distortion very clearly. I would love to hear more of his vocals. But I guess, you know, mixing Devin Townsend is probably a bit of a chore. I think as an audio engineer, you really have to know this song down to the ground so you could follow Devin Townsend's movement as he, you know, fades in and out. I think he's sort of mixing himself as he's uh, riding the microphone the way he does. The, on the, way, the only way that Devin Townsend knows is to ride that microphone like a stallion. in his neck look at those veins and ah he's he's ex lowering his jaw to get those those vocal fry screams out and you, you notice his embouchure too, too is as well he's sort of um, brightening his tone as much as possible by widening his mouth and exposing his front teeth you get more of that ring and ping in the tone and that really sends it uh, it gives it that quality that you really, that's the Devin Townsend quality. And then ring and ping makes cha-ching. listen to it one more time no no we can't oh my goodness that was incredible that was well worth the seven or eight minutes of investment what an incredible expressive vocal tour of this song deadhead so one of the things that i liked is that it wasn't it wasn't necessarily showy, but there was something so deeply moving about the piece, about the lyrics, his connection with the song. I, I don't know uh, any of the backstory about the song, but there, uh, obviously I'd, I would like to research it a little bit more. Maybe one of you guys knows a little bit more um, about the song, and please leave your comments in the comment section. Let me know um, what you thought, uh, what you think of Devin Townsend and this particular performance. I, I, I thought it was fantastic. Um, typical of him to utilize all of the colors of his voice. You got the vocal fry, you get the scream. It didn't do any of the the growling that I that I could perceive, but uh, he also had you know that clear sort of operatic trained tone that he just can sort of manipulate his voice and and really use all of the colors that are at his disposal to really make this song come alive. Now, if you are a vocal student and you want your voice to come alive. I strongly suggest you reach out to a competent vocal coach. It doesn't have to be me. But if you want to work with me, I'll be sure to leave a link in the description. You can get a hold of me via my Wizio page or Wizio or whatever you want to call it. Also, please remember to hit that subscribe button, the like button, or the dislike button. Whether Tell me whether or not I got it right or got it wrong. Um, I'd like to know. I'd like to hear from you. And if you've made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. We will see you next time.